in this machine learning class we will see uh, the complex scenarios and uh, the applications of bayesian belief network that will come under third unit bayesian concept learning when come to complex scenarios there are three different uh, scenarios there diverging connection serial connection and converging connection and uh, the these are the applications of bayesian belief network let us see all those things one by one in today's class first let us see the complex scenarios uh, in bayesian belief network okay it the network uh, can represent much more complex scenarios with the dependence and independence concept okay in the previous class itself we have seen what is dependence and what is independence okay so this a and b are two uh, variables and a and this is b okay and now a is uh, related to b in this scenario okay in this way a is related to b that is here a is independent and b is dependent okay that means the event b will occur only after the event a occurs okay hence a is independent event or independent variable and b is dependent event or dependent variable now how these independence and dependence concept will be explained in this um, bayesian belief network so here we are having three different connections first one is diverging connection serial connection and converging connections okay let us see these things one by one the first one is diverging connection diverging connection means the evidence can be transmitted between two child nodes of the same parent uh, same parent provided that parent is not instantiated okay so in this diagram this is parent node that is root node parent node and we have two child nodes okay first one is uh, paul native class and second one is tim native class okay they will uh, be led to the class only based on the rain of that particular day okay otherwise they won't come late we can assume okay so this type of connection is called as diverging connection we have already seen this connection in our previous class itself the second one is serial connection in the serial connection here the evidence that entered in the beginning of the connection okay so in the beginning we are having rain today so this is the root node root node okay and this evidence can be trans transmitted through the the directed path okay so this is the directed path right which provides no intermediate node on the path is instantiated this is important okay the instantiation will be only the leaf node that is tim is led to the class okay and the serial connection of this network is generated by using chain rule and the third one is converging connection converging connection means the evidence which can be transmitted between two parents between two parents uh, here this is one parent and this is second parent okay and this is the evidence and the child node has received some evidence from one parent and some evidence from another parent and the evidence can be either soft evidence or hard evidence okay that is the parent one is tim had swimming class and the second parent is rain today okay if both uh, based on these two only the tim is led to the class will be computed right so by using the bayesian uh, network uh, we infer the values of target variable on the basis of observed values of some other variables for example tim led to the class this is depending on only rain today okay we can compute tim led to the class only based on the computation of rain today right and it will not be possible to infer a single value in the case of random variables okay suppose if more number of variables are there uh, for a particular child node then it is possible to take any of the random value okay but 
the probability distribution of target variable given the observed values of other variables right okay in general the bayesian network can be used to compute the probability distribution of any subset of node variables given the values or distribution of remaining variables okay so this is the bayesian belief network okay that means the child node can be computed the values of child node can be computed based on the probability distribution of the evidence variables now let us see the use of bayesian belief network okay this network creates a complete model for variables and their relationship okay rain today and fall late to class and tim late to class okay so here we are having three different variables and those are related to each other in such a fashion okay this will be represented by using bayesian network that is bayesian belief network otherwise and it can be used to answer the probabilistic queries about the variables okay based on what condition the fall will lead to the class based on what condition the team will lead to the class okay so that will be used by using only the bayesian belief network and it is used to find out the updated knowledge about the state of subset of variables okay so uh, we can easily compute the updated value of this particular state and the state of other subset is already observed okay that is this is already observed and this is already observed based on that we can observe this particular state okay this is also possible and this process is called as probabilistic inference that is the process of computing posterior distribution of variables okay the computing posterior distribution of variables is called as probabilistic inference because of that the posterior distribution here to choose a particular value of subset of variables okay in a network values of subset of variables for example i want to choose this particular state uh, the loss function and uh, the errors decision errors are very much minimized okay that is minimizing some expected loss functions or decision errors then this method is very effective one right so the bayesian network is a mechanism that will automatically apply the bayes theorem to the complex problems okay so by using all those things we can assume that the bayesian belief network is very effective one to compute a complex problems and now let us see the applications of bayesian belief network okay we have already seen bayesian belief network is a very powerful uh, problem solving technique to solve a very complex problems okay hence it can solve uh, many real time problems also uh, first one is the protein structure it is used to, to solve all the uh, genetic network related problems and gene regularity network okay so this is closely associated with the protein structure then medicines forensics so these are all medical related Uh, problems that will be easily solved by using bayesian belief network after that the document classification information retrieval uh, image processing decision support systems uh, sports betting and gaming and property market analysis and uh, various other fields so these are some of the other fields in which we can use this bayesian belief network so far we have seen the bayesian belief network from third unit bayesian concept learning in this class we have seen the complex scenarios and uh, applications of bayesian belief network when come to complex scenarios there are three scenarios or three different connections the diverging connection serial connection and converging connection and this bayesian belief network is applicable in uh, solving many real time applications we have seen all those things in today's class In the next class we will start our second part of third unit thank you